Hello my friends, and welcome to MB Shoe Doc Review Series, where we will explore the world of quality shoes for men. We will cover general shoe care and knowledge, review the brands you love, and introduce you to brands that you've never heard of. So get yourself ready, and let's dive right into today's unboxing video. Hello my friends, got a new unboxing video for you today. This is CNES, C-N-E-S. This is my second unboxing for them. I did my first one on a Adelaide. Uh, it was a hand dyed crust, a hand dyed patina on crust leather about a year and a half ago or so. Since then, they have really made some revisions to their collection. Uh, even their construction, and I feel like they really refined their collection a little bit. So let's take a look here. This is the CK1. It's a Chukka boot uh, in dark brown, and the size I went with EU40, which is more like a UK7. My last pair was a 41, and it was a little bit loose even with an insole. And so this one is on the J Last. And they tell me that it's just a little bit uh, less volume in the shoe. Well, thank you card here. Always appreciate it. And let's take a look. We've got them coming with individual shoe bags. Always appreciate that. Let's have a look at the boot. Wow, this is really, really a sharp looking boot. This is calf uh, leather from the tannery de Anane, uh, a well-known tannery, and they're doing the hatch grain embossing in-house on these. So right off the bat, I'll, I'll tell you, I've got uh, just a few pairs in hatch grain. This feels a little bit uh, softer leather uh, than the other ones, which I think is gonna be nice. Uh, this feels like it'd be really comfortable. Um, just a very nice, soft leather. Um, one thing I'll point out, you know, the hatch grain pattern, this is common, but it kind of lightens up as you get towards the toe and it lightens up maybe a little bit more on this one than this one. So when you're lasting the shoe and stretching the leather, you tend to lose a little bit of that uh, hatch grain pattern. I think that's fine. I'm gonna put a little shine on them and it'll even up the look, um, but certainly this one retained a little bit more of that hatch grain pattern. This one was stretched a little bit so you don't see it as much. This is actually very, very common. Pretty rare to have that much of the hatch grain still on the toe. And these are, the construction is a combination of Bolognese and Goodyear welted. And so what they told me is that it's a little bit um, more flexible on the, on the inside here. So the, the sole's got a little bit more flex to it compared to a traditional Goodyear welted uh, with the cork footbed. But it still is uh, welted. It's a 270 degree, so it stops here at the heel. Let's take a look at that. So, wow, 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 wow. So my last pair from them had uh, a little bit of a kind of hump in the waist, a little bit of a bevel to it. This is a much sharper uh, looking bevel, really sleek looking sole. They used to have a, a pegged, wood pegged waist before too, um, and they've gotten rid of that. This is beautiful. So to me, this just looks a little bit more refined really, really nice looking sole. I love the way this looks. Uh, something they told me in the notes is that the heel has just a slight taper as well. Um, pretty subtle, but yeah, there's just a little bit of an angle here. Overall, what a sleek looking boot. I think these are absolutely beautiful. So again, this is the J Last. Um, a little bit less volume in the vamps. I think this is going to be a better fit for me. And it's kind of a, an almond rounded toe. Uh, quite beautiful. I'll take a look at the other 
boot here, you know, the stitch density um, I can see really looks quite good. So uh, pretty tight stitch density, definitely tighter than like my Allen Edmonds. Um, I don't go as far as to, you know, measure stitches per inch. I don't have a ruler handy. Uh, really nice uh, fudging on the edge here. And again, that sole is just stunning. That is beautiful. I'm gonna hate to walk on these. Um, it is closed channel again, so you don't see the, uh, uh, the stitching, not visible stitching. The stitching on the uppers here, you know, looks, looks very clean, looks precise. Nice and straight on the heel there. Look at the other one. Yep, yeah, really nice and straight on both. So, yeah, these are beautiful. Um, like I said, I feel like they just have refined their collection. I think these look uh, nicer than some of their other models. You know, the hatch grain is a little bit more rare, but I'm seeing a lot of shoemakers using it now, and it's just a really beautiful texture. I think these are fantastic, so I'm really very impressed. I'm gonna put just a little bit of a shine on these and uh, we'll get them on the feet here soon. So just applying a little bit of mirror gloss here on the toe. I'm gonna see if we can't even these up just a little bit. Again, the hatch grain on this one was a little more visible. So if we put a little bit of a shine on here, fill in some of those spaces with the wax, I think it'll look a little nicer having them look a little bit more even. We'll let that sit a minute and then we'll use a cloth and add just a touch more shine to it. All right, so getting the cloth just a little bit damp here, getting a little bit of wax. So I'm not going for that uh, true mirror shine, but just a little bit of water and wax on the cloth. Just gonna smooth this out a little bit more, blend it a little bit more. Get some shine on that toe. And this really, uh, on this, uh, especially on this type of boot, totally unnecessary, of course. Um, but I think it'll, it'll elevate the look a little bit, add a little bit more formality to it. I think this is gonna be a really versatile boot. You know, the texture and the fact that it's a, a chukka, you know, this sort of boot looks amazing with jeans. But this is a pretty sleek last here too, uh, and looks really pretty elegant. So I think it would work for, you know, kind of business wear as well. I mean, I think you could wear these with a, with a suit, especially with uh, kind of your more uh, casual materials like a, a flannel or something like that. So yeah, a little bit of shine here on the toe. I think that's looking real good. Let's get this other side to match. All right, so one last look at these. Again, the CK1 Chuck a Boot in Anane Calf and Dark Brown embossed in house to give this beautiful hatch grain pattern. And all I did was add just a little bit of a shine on the toes. Again, $370 on these. A 270 Goodyear Welt with a combination of, well, Goodyear and Bolognese construction. Absolutely beautiful fiddled waist on these. Really excited to get these on the feet. What a beautiful boot. So if you hadn't checked them out before, absolutely. Take a look at CNES, CNES Shoes. They're doing some great things. See you on the next one.